Okay, in this video we're going to talk about how to solve a system of three equations in three unknowns and we're going to do it by hand. Um, there's a couple steps that I usually follow as I solve these, so let's look at those first. So the first thing that I like to do is take two of the equations and eliminate one of the variables. doesn't matter which one, so we're going to pick any two, eliminate one of the variables. The next thing you do is you take a different pair of equations and eliminate the same variable. Okay, so that's the process. If you choose to eliminate z in step one, you have to eliminate z in step two. Once you've done that, you now have a two by two system of equations, and you can solve that by whatever method you like, usually elimination, but it doesn't really matter. Um, once we do that, we know two of the values. So we take those, plug them into a third equation. It doesn't matter one of the originals, just plug into that, and you will find the last value. So with that in mind, let's see if we can actually do this. So here's our system. 2x minus 3y plus 4z equals 8, 5x plus 3y plus 2z equals 1, and 4x plus 5y plus 3z equals 13. I find it convenient when I'm doing this if I actually um, number the equations, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to call them 1, 2, and 3. That way I can organize my work and I can uh, always go back and look at what I did and make sure I did it correctly. So the first thing I'm going to do is pick two of the equations and eliminate one of the variables. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose to eliminate z, it doesn't really matter what you choose. Uh, so to do that, I'm going to take the first equation, I'm going to multiply the second equation by negative 2, and then I'm going to add them together. So my plan is to eliminate z, and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to take the first equation, and I'm going to add to that negative 2 times the second equation. So that'll give me, I'm just going to write the system down, so the first equation, 2x minus 3y plus 4z equals 8. Now I have to take the second equation and multiply by negative 2. So to do that, I'm going to get negative 10x minus 6y minus 4z equals negative 2. And then my goal is to add these together. So let's add down. So 2 and negative 10 is negative 8x. Negative 3 and negative 6 is negative 9y. Uh, the z's cancel, and that was our goal, so that's good. And then 8 minus 2 is negative is positive 6, rather. All right, I'm going to call this equation 4 because it's the fourth equation that I'm dealing with. And I'm going to save that. Now I need to pick two other, t another pair of the original equations and eliminate z again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use equations 2 and 3. Um, and the easiest thing to do here is to multiply. So the coefficient of z in equation 3 is 3. And the, equation of, and the coefficient of z in equation 2 is 2. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to kind of like switch them. So if I multiply equation 2 by 3, and if I multiply equation 3 by negative 2, so that the signs change, um, z will cancel out. So let's see. This is my plan. I'm going to do 3 times equation 2 plus negative 2 times equation 3. And the 3 and the negative 2 came from the coefficients of z in the equations, respectively. And when I do that, z will cancel. So let's try to implement that. So I get 15x plus 9y plus 6z equals 3. So that's by multiplying equation 2, everything I see, by 3. Now I'm going to multiply everything I see in equation 3 by negative 2. And that'll give me negative 8x minus 10y minus 6z equals negative 26. And the whole plan here is to add down. So if I add down, I get um, 15 minus 8 is 7x. Uh, 9 minus 10 is negative y. The z's cancel, which means so far so good. And then 3 minus 26 is negative 23, which is kind of a big number, but whatever, nothing I can do about it. So I'm going to call this equation 5, and so far so good. So now I have two equations, equations 4 and 5, that are just with variables x and y. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that into a system and then solve it. So that system is this. And I need to solve this by, again, any method. It doesn't really matter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take equation 4, and I'm going to add to it negative 9 times equation 5. The reason I'm choosing negative 9 is that that'll make the um, coefficients of y equal but opposite in the two equations. So when I add down, they'll just cancel out. So equation 4 plus negative 9 times equation 5 is what we're going to do. So equation 4 doesn't change. I'm going to multiply everything I see in equation 5 by negative 9. So that'll be negative 63x plus 9y equals, and then 9 times, uh, negative 9 times negative 23 is positive 207. 
All right, and the whole goal here is to add down. So that'll give me a negative 71x because negative 63 minus 8 is negative 71. The y's cancel, which is what I was hoping would happen. And then 207 plus 6 is 213. This is nice because this is easy to solve. Divide by negative 71 and I get x is negative 3. Okay, so now what I do is I go back to either equation 4 or 5 and I'm going to substitute in the negative 3. I'm going to use equation 5 because, I don't know, because the numbers are kind of smaller. So let's see. So equation 5, it's going to be 7 times the negative 3 that I just found. And then minus y equals negative 23. So negative 21 minus y equals negative 23. Negative y is negative 2. So now I know that y is equal to 2. So now I know x is negative 3, y is 2. I go back to any of the three original equations, and I can substitute in and solve for z. I'm going to use equation 1. It doesn't matter. You get the same value no matter which one you pick. Unless you did it wrong, in which case you won't, and then you know you're wrong, and you go back and check your work. So let's see. It's going to be 2 times the negative 3 that I found, minus 3 times the 2 that I found, plus 4z is equal to 8. And we clean this up. Clean it up again. I'm going to add 12. And then divide by 4. So I get z is equal to 5. So now I know x is negative 3, y is 2, z is 5. Um, I actually checked that on a calculator. I know that is the right answer. Um, but the way you should write your answer is kind of summarize it. Your teacher will love you for that. So I'm going to just rewrite it. And then sometimes they prefer that you write your answer as an ordered triple. So I'm going to write it both ways. All right, so I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.